Safety first, safety always. Electricity and step and touch potential. Be a star. Brought to you by the Utility Arborist Association. Electricity can be a silent killer. It's an unseen hazard with, generally speaking, no sound or odor. Any time of year, broken poles and tree branches can come into contact with overhead energized conductors, creating a fallen wire hazard. These dangers can be furthered on saturated soil, standing water in puddles, or resting on a metal fence or other conductive material. Utility arborists, other tree care professionals, and even the general public need to be mindful of these electrical hazards in the field, especially when it comes to step and touch potential. Imagine tossing a stone into a lake. When the rock strikes the surface, it creates a ripple effect across the water. This is similar to what happens with electricity from a down power line when it hits the ground but the ripples are invisible. The energy is greatest at the center point of the contact and diminishes as it spreads away from the point of impact. Step potential is the difference in voltage that occurs between each ripple and a person's feet when they take a step into a potentially energized area. If a person's feet are not on the same concentric ripple at the same time, Electricity will flow through a person's body to make up the voltage difference between the ripples. This creates a potentially dangerous electrical event for that individual. Touch potential is the voltage difference between any two points on a person's body when they touch an electrically charged object. In this instance, Dangerous electrical currents will travel through a person's body to get to an exit point on the ground. That's why it's very important to remember that both step and touch potential can be deadly. In fact, the distance that step potential can be hazardous is greater than most people think. Harmful voltage can flow as far as 33 feet from the center of an impact point, and sometimes even further. So when arborists in the field encounter step and touch potential, it's critical to follow the STAR process. Stop. Think. Act. Review. Let's check in with our utility arborists, Alex and Carmen, for some real life examples of step and touch potential. Carmen is on a job site following a strong thunderstorm. She notices a person unresponsive near their vehicle, and she sees a downed power line tangled in a nearby tree. Carmen follows the STAR process. Stop. There's no way for her to know if the wire is energized, so Carmen will not approach the person near a downed wire. Think. She needs to assess the situation from a safe distance before pursuing any course of action. Carmen is within 20 feet of the power line, which is inside the step potential danger zone. Act. To escape injury, Carmen shuffles her feet together until she is sure to be more than 33 feet away. She then dials 911 to report an injured person and a potential electrical hazard from a down power line. Next, Carmen knows to contact the utility system owner or operator to inform them of the potentially dangerous situation. And she remembers to inform her employer too. Carmen does not cone off the area or move anything, people, equipment, vehicles, or down trees until she is sure it's safe. Carmen considers her recent actions, then later discusses the events with her colleagues. She wants everyone to be prepared in the event they ever face a similar situation. Meanwhile, Alex is on the opposite side of town with his team of utility arborists assisting in restoring electricity. 
Together they are removing limbs and trees from verified grounded electrical circuits. Alex is standing near his bucket truck with its outriggers deployed when a strong wind suddenly knocks an ungrounded power line across the back of his vehicle. Just like Carmen, Alex follows the STAR process. Stop. Alex needs to immediately stop what he's doing. Think. Alex knows he needs to exit the area and decides how to best do so without making contact with his truck, which is, potentially, now an energized conductor. Act. From his training on step and touch potential, Alex knows to slowly shuffle his feet together as he leaves the potentially energized area and warn his teammates of the potential hazard on the job site. Alex knows to immediately report the incident and electrical hazard, first by contacting 911, then reaching out to the utility system owner or operator, and finally by notifying his employer. Review. Like Carmen, Alex reflects upon his actions and discusses the situation with his colleagues. So the next time you're faced with a possible step and touch potential, be like Carmen and Alex and remember the STAR process. Stop. Think. Act. Review. It could save lives, including your own. For more information, be sure to contact the Utility Arborist Association and ask to speak to a member of the Safety Committee. And remember, safety first, safety always.